Hello there and uh, welcome to the tutorial. Uh, this tutorial is going to show you how to install Windows Live Mesh. Live Mesh is a tool that allows you to sync your files between multiple machines and multiple mobile devices. It also allows you to remote desktop into these devices. Uh, Remote Desktop is a tool that allows you to connect remotely. Uh, it's not available on Windows XP Home and so this is a, a good way to get around that limitation uh, if you choose. So my setup here I have two Windows 7 machines uh, that I wish to, to sync files between. So to get started I'm going to log into my leftmost machine there we go I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to www.mesh.com this is uh, Microsoft's live mesh website I'll just go ahead and resize this. Let's oh. go ahead and log in. If you don't have a Windows Live ID, you can uh, go ahead and sign up for one right here. I will use mine. So being a new user, uh, accept the agreements by clicking I agree and uh, here's your mesh. You can see that I have a live desktop which is the web based uh, place where your files are stored. All accounts get 5 gigabytes. Here you can see it's 5120 megabytes so really 5.12 gigabytes to be precise so the first step to do is I'm going to click add device and I'm going to add my current machine so choose the, the operating system you're currently using they only have XP and Vista here I'm using Windows 7 so for all intents and purposes uh, you can use Vista. Any options that apply for Vista will more than likely work for Windows 7. And my installs here are 32 bit, so I will use the 32 bit installation. So after installation you'll see that you have a little icon uh, down here in your, your notification area so go ahead and click on it and because it's our first time using Live Mesh we have to go ahead and sign in. So just sign in, sign in with your, uh, your Windows Live ID and for convenience you can select these options I prefer just to select all of them and that means Live Mesh automatically logs in each time these machines are on so type in a machine name so that you can recognize your machine in your mesh and then just click add device and here's user account control go ahead and click yes uh, yep, yes and so now you can see that uh, Live Mesh is, is doing some more installation and it looks like it's finished So 
we go ahead and open it, if you double click on the the live mesh icon here, you get the live mesh main menu. It has your name up here and you have three tabbed areas you can click on. If you click on view recent news, this is just a a list of uh, recent activity. So as you get going with live mesh you will uh, you will fill up this area uh, with with updates so when you make an update the the file will be listed here you also have a list of your the devices on your mesh so you can see that currently we technically have two devices the first device is 170 and that's our machine on the left here the second although not technically a device second area is live desktop and live desktop is, is again the website so that is here so if you were to go back to the website and you click connect it loads up a, an interface where you can create new folders and uh, over time you will build up a lot of uh, folders here but if we go back to the live mesh interface and lastly if you click on uh, view recent folder activity this is a list of all your folders that you'll have so we're going to go ahead and add a folder through the live mesh client so if you click on manage folders and uh, it'll bring up windows explorer and all you have to do here is click right click and a live mesh options and then create folder in live mesh so it brings up a default area so I'm going to change this uh, name to my synced folder and you can see it creates a default lo location on this local machine where that folder will live and it shows you synchronization options so you have a few options here you know this uh, allows you to determine what files are, are synced and modified and with what they will be synced and modified with so in this case I want everything all my files to be synced with both this machine and my live desktop so I'll click OK so you can see my folder has been created so from now on all I have to do uh, is add folders to this location uh, and files and they will be synced so I'm going to create a test file here just a text document uh, my file this is my file that I wish to be synced So let's go ahead.